in this example we are going to work with a string okay it does create another program for and i'll say string dot py okay straight looping for every character in a string as mentioned earlier for loop works on a sequence right and if you think about it string is nothing but a sequence of characters so that means you can make use of for loop for a string let us assume we have a variable say name and then let us say and if we want to execute a for loop for every character in the string we can very well do that with the same for statement for then you need to provide a variable name that can hold every element in the sequence so let me give that a name like ch for the character and that character is in the sequence called name okay. and that will be followed by a colon and what do we do for every element in the sequence we can give a set of statements so let us just print for the time being print character being processed is and then write ch it saved us and let us execute this program python for string ui see every character is assigned to that variable ch one at a time and in each iteration that value is getting printed as we expected let us go back to the program and let us try and count how many characters my name has got so if you want a counter we have to initialize the counter say with a zero and for each iteration we can increment the counter like this counter is equal to current value of the counter plus 1 and then and say print characters counted so far yes And then say counter okay. and since this statement is also indented note that this will get executed for every iteration and then after the for loop completes i want to tell how many characters were there in total in the name so i have to do that after the end of the for loop so i need to stop the indentation and then i need to print after all the iteration the counter will be having the latest value right because you are counting for every element and after the last iteration the counter will be holding uh, holding the length of the string 
so you can say the number of characters the name is and you can say encounter so note that this statement will only be executed once towards the end after the for loop is all completed this will not be executed like four times or you know for every iteration because this is outside the for loop how do we know that because there is no indentation it is at the same level as the for statement so this will just execute once let's execute this program on for string dot py so we start with the character being processed as yes and then the character counted so far is one and then it goes on to the next character which is h characters counted so far as two and then to the next character a character counted so far as three and then to the next character n characters counted so far as four and then after this for loop is all executed it goes outside the for loop and prints this statement number of characters in the name is and then it is the counter value that was last assigned so which is four hope this is very clear